Hey guys, Tate from Florida here, checking in with you from the uh, Madeira Bickle Mound State Archaeological Site in Palmetto, Florida. And basically this is uh, ancient Native American life thousand years ago. And there's really not too much this area. This is pretty much, if you're driving by it, stop by and check it out. It's only going to take you about 10 or 15 minutes. And you can see we're coming up on the stairwell here to go up. Um, this is a 10 acre site that encompasses uh, the Madeira Bickle, Mickle, Bickle Mound and it was named after Madeira Bickle of Sarasota who joined her husband Carl in preserving Native American mounds from destruction in 1948. The Bickles purchased and donated the mound and surrounding land to the state which was the first site in Florida to become an archaeological site. Archaeological excavations have disclosed at least three periods of Native American culture during the first period in which mounds were begun. During the first period in which mounds were begun, life was simple. The primary interests were hunting and fishing. Kitchen middens along the shore of the bay were probably begun also during this period. The second or Weedon Island period extended from AD 700 to AD 1300. They produced some of the most artistic pottery found in Florida. During the third or safety harbor period, interest in pottery declined and the villages became a lot larger as ag agriculture rose in importance. You can see the hill going off there. So there, it's just basically, it's a big Indian mound is what it is. And uh, there's also a period in which the first Spanish explorers arrived which was known as the Safety Harbor period, uh, which agriculture rose uh, big time in importance. So as you can see, there's really not much to this. I guess if you wanted to, you could kind of get off the beaten path here and climb on the mound a little bit here, but this is nothing but a big mound. Maybe it goes up about 30 to 40, 45 feet. And that's it. You can find this off US 19 in Palmetto, just south of the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. You can see how the mound goes up. You can see how it looks up there. Anyways, that's about it. You got a nice little boardwalk, um, well, concrete boardwalk, I guess, coming in. This is also surrounded by a very unique neighborhood back here. Of big homes. Anyways, check it out. We're gonna go check out a uh, historic post office real quick and then a historic home on the way home.